Hey all, this is Zerson. Welcome back to our Native American First Nations, whatever, what have you call it, free for all. Things are getting hot and heavy now. Uh, we are trying to settle this last city, but damn, these barbarians do not want to let us do it. And uh, I've been thinking long and hard about how to do this best. And the only solution I come up with, really, without having to wait like 30 turns to knock all these guys down, they'll probably spawn someone else again, is to just run the risk here, kill this, and then bet that they can't kill me in one turn. And if they can, that means they both have to shoot, which means a settler is safe, even if my spearman dies. And then we can settle the city and move on. It's risky, yeah. I mean, make no mistake, this is risky as all hell. Uh, I don't want to do this if I don't have to. But uh, at this point, it's kind of a necessity to make sure I can get out of here in one piece, more or less alive. But that's the plan. Um, while we see that insanity to come to fruition, we're going to keep exploring here before we go south. I want to see a little more of what's in the middle of the world here before we commit to going south or back north to check out. I mean, the Inuit got to be up here somewhere. I think we just missed them. Uh, anyway, uh, let's just see what happens here because this is really the, the deciding factor. Uh, moving forward on this uh, particular particular LP. We got it. We got it, we got it, we got it. Um, and this gives us both furs in range and a decent defensive position. I like this a lot. We're going to settle up. That was risky as hell. I'm really sad we missed, uh, we lost that particular uh, unit, but uh, it's okay. Getting the city down early is far more important, I believe, so we're going to stick with that. I'm going to work on that guy. All right, so that much is good. We're working on this, uh, getting this library. I was going to be a while, but before we continue with the LP, I want to do one thing real quick, and that is talk about two of the other mods I'm using. And I'll show you real quick what I'm talking about. I have the usual suspects. We have all the uh, civs that I'm already using. We have the Special Forces Upgrade and the uh, Mercenary Army Expanded mods, and those can be best shown here on the technology, technology tree. Alright, so, uh, first and foremost, we have, let's do the Special Forces upgrade real quick. So remember in Base Civ 5, how you kind of get the Marine at Penicillin? He's kind of a less good infantry that just has defensive embarkation. And then, that's all it ever does, and it's really not that useful. Well, uh, thanks to the wonders of mods, at telecommunication you get special forces, which is an upgrade of the Marine. It's five power off of mechanized infantry to kind of that same parallel. And these things are pretty cool. Uh, they can go amphibious, they have quick movement, they have defensive embarkation, uh, they can go into rival territory. So, really neat kind of covert ops forces. They're actually named after all real life covert ops stuff, so that's actually really neat. So I want to point that out. And the other thing is Mercenary Army Expanded, which, again, is something very, very neat. Uh, you know how you have that one policy from Commerce, which is Mercenary Army, and that's like you can buy lands connects. And, you know, by the time you get up to Commerce and you finish maybe Tradition or Liberty or whatever way you started, uh, you, you really don't have a use for them anymore. They're just kind of pikemen with a couple of good bonuses, unless you go hard on to the Lancers, which very few people do. Uh, not exactly a strong thing, but we still have the lands connect. Uh, thanks to that policy, but now at Metallurgy, you can recruit Swiss Guards, which are uh, give defensive bonuses for the homeland, sort of near the capital. And also, once you get to where is that beautiful, beautiful thing? I think it's rifling, if I'm not mistaken. Am I going to press rifling? No, no, it's not rifling. There it is. Replaceable parts. You can get the Foreign Legion. This is basically the equivalent of the uh, old French unit, now Liberty Tenant item. And... Uh, yeah, it's pretty cool. We can get that as commerce, not just through the volunteer army from the Freedom Ideology. And you get a combat bonus outside of friendly territory, a little weaker than uh, than Grey War Infantry, but there you go. So yeah, it kind of extends the validity of uh, Mercenary Army Tenet for a little longer, and that's pretty cool. So I'm using those two, kind of see how they affect the late game. It'll be a fun experiment to go with. And last but not least, um, I don't mention this every series, but it's always in the comments, so if you're reading those comments or the information about the mods, you'll know that the reason we have such awesome thumbnails for all the games is thanks to the artistic stylings of Jan Boruta. He is one half of the modding team that is JFD and Jan Boruta that have a ridiculous amount of output for the Civ 5 community. So his information to link to his workshop is always in the uh, comments. Take a look at that. I mean, he's really awesome about doing this with his own free time, his own free will. I'm not compelling him. 
he's just a, kind of a fan of the channel and really wants to make those art things look good. And you have to agree, those thumbnails look pretty damn awesome. So check his stuff out on the workshop. And uh, yeah, thanks again. Big thanks to Jan for making this channel look as good as it does now. Anyway, on to the game. Should you continue to expand lands, I will not settle near you in the future. I promise I'll just go straight up and murder you. I swear. By the moon and the stars in the sky. I'll be there. I'll be there. Okay, enough. Uh, anyway. Baby making music. All right. Uh, quarries. Quarries. Quarries are good because we're going to need to get this uh, National College thing up at some point, And that quarries will help with that. All right. Let's see. Keep dragging the food out. Uh, do we have trapping yet? We do not. No, but we're gonna start stealing all these techs anyway. How close are we to stealing? Thanks, we have that awesome spy. I'm so glad we got that early religion. That was that was huge. Even that bites in the ass later and we don't get anything else out of it. Getting that early religion was good. Very good indeed. Ah, oh, now what? Uh, let's just keep exploring, I guess. Let's see what's out here. The Sioux are expanding like crazy. I'm thinking the Blackfoot and the Sioux might get into it at some point. Some kind of internecine squabble. Uh, let's get a kill with our archer and start whittling this guy down. That's good enough. I want to get this trade route up because uh, I do need to find out where the hell the capital for the Iroquois is. I mean, I'll probably be able to see it with the scout. And then we'll get that caravan out and getting some science from them and maybe keep them from killing us because having friendly trade routes makes things less annoying. We may also go to Brussels though because more culture early is good. And we do have that ability. How about we just pledge to protect you right now? That'll keep our situation a little better. And make sure everyone knows that Brussels are ours, man. We love us some Belgians. All right. Uh, we do need another worker for... M oh, God. I just realized how hard this is going to be to pronounce. Another worker for... Munning Wanakunning. Okay. Moaning Wanakunning? Munning Wanakunning? Sure. Munning Wanakunning. We're going to do something along those lines and hope to God that's not... <laughs> completely wrong all right uh let's keep going yeah the Iroquois are definitely over here uh where their cities are at that's where the scout came from last time anyway so kind of expected they'll probably drop a dumbass city over here at some point but we have the furs that's all we care about uh we're gonna see that city sit up there as well uh Michele Mackinac has grown which is cool as much as I want production I need food blue wizard needs food badly uh so we can continue our wonderful wonderful growth in our capital let's keep going and I'm thinking uh, I'm gonna might invest early in, in a uh, missionary just because I don't want to lose the Uluru bonus from this. How are you doing religiously, buddy? You don't have a religion save. Oh, he still has just his Pantheon. But yeah, like, like I'm saying, he did go early Pantheon. He's one of the earlier ones to take this. He took Goddess of Protection, so you know the AI loves that shit. If we lose our religion or our pantheon out of here, we don't get this bonus anymore. That's really driving our faith out, but otherwise we go down to two. So I think a missionary here is going to be important, possibly, just to trade this out. 104 faith. Yeah, it's going to be a little while before we get that. We'll see what we do with that, but we don't want to basically lose our faith slash pantheon from that city. Barbarian encampment's there. That's fine. All right, what else we got? Ah, yes, you still. You, sir. Go here. Kill. Excellent. All right, no more barbarians. We're going to take this... Archer out for test drive and see what's out here as well. Zapotex got a new religion of Buddhism. Ah, yes, the Buddhist Zapotex, totally legit. And uh, next. We got a little more cash out of that. That's good. We may have to buy some tiles here to make sure the uh, Iroquois don't expand into the furs, but we're doing all right on that for now. Anything I should know about down here? Oh, looks like cows. That's a lot of cows. Uh, are you under protection of anyone? Yep. The Sioux and the Diné, which we kind of want to stay on good terms with. That guy's probably not going to run out anytime soon. He's busy peeking the crap out of that scout. Uh, you have finished this. I want these horses sooner, but that's the next expansion. Oh, one turn. Okay, perfect. So why don't you just go over here and uh, get ready to do those horses for me. Slow motion for me. Uh, that's totally not the right context, but you know what I'm trying to say. Uh, and we got, uh, we got a religion. We got Protestantism. Son of a bitch. Okay, so even more reason to get a missionary here I mean alternatively yeah I think the missionary is gonna be important I normally never get missionaries this early but I, I don't want to lose my religion from here and I may expand it to Uji Bogomo o OJ Bogomo is that what we decided last time I think so 
just so we can get um, get more pressure on that poor bastard. And after that, we should be okay. We have zero followers here because we have a religion, but we'll get our religion up there soon enough. We'll get more pressure. Luckily, we're the only one, and we're kind of backed up here, so we shouldn't get a religion coming in from the south. Hey, Steel Tech, and this is when we really start cranking out here. Uh, bronze working, yes please. The wheel or trapping? Trapping is expensive, but I want to know if there's iron. And there's iron in them Nar Hills! Oh, beautiful. And that's why he settled this city here, because he got lapis and an iron. But we're going to get this iron, at least two, and that's good. We'll have a couple swordsmen, maybe some long swords later. We can profit. Excellent. Uh, I need to get the hell out of here before I get annihilated. I was thinking those an invasion force for me. I think it's just a barbarian dealing with them force. Uh, horses, so we can get uh, the embassy with the people that we sold it to initially. You got promoted, and I'm not going to move him for a change because he can't do anything about it. He doesn't have a spy. So it'll increase tensions, but I really don't care. He's doing a good job. And this is what an early spy is going to do. We're going to catch up to the uh, AI's early tech bonus with a quickness. And I think he's still the highest on tech right now. Oh, no, Hiawatha is now. <laughs> of course. Go figure. Um, all right. Let's see. Archer. Uh, not much out here yet. Oh, we'll take a peek on those hills and see if there's something else of worthwhile in this area down south here. City Stadt. Yeah. Und. Oh, salt. Nice. Well, if there's a lot of room here. If there's enough room for another city, I may consider... Dropping something down here. This is another unique luxury. If we get something near the mountains, maybe. They'll control these passes even more, and it'll give us salt. That's not a bad idea, but that's going to come after National College, if it does come at all. Hey, bucko. Well, this is Osininka. I think this is the capital, then. Uh, probably. Are we on production focus here? We're not. Aha! Aha! I got you, little beast! Uh, next turn. I'm double sheep here, too. That's going to really help our production for this uh, library. And we're going to have another pop in a second anyway. This is beautiful. Perfect! I love it! It's like Grandpa used to make. Onondaga, there we go. We're gonna send a trader out there, probably. Just to keep the Iroquois on a good side and crank a little more science out of it. Uh, yep, that's good for me. That's beautiful. Expanding to sheep, and then fur. And let's count real quick. How many? One, one, two, three. This will be the fourth tile. If I start seeing Iroquois control on these tiles, I'll buy the furs, but for now, we're okay. Our happiness is doing alright. I'm more or less content with the situation. Uh, but we're going to leave this here just to get this library out faster. And we're going to slow the growth there a little bit. And just when we start losing a little bit of having... Holy shit. Uh, well, we got... <laughs> we got Kilimanjaro. And uh, we have two archers ready to chew our faces off. That's scary. But I'm going to keep exploring this area because I want to know what's out here. And if it's a good city location, I want to get it before Hiawatha or someone else does. All right. The question is now more food or more money. Because if we get another olive plantation, we could sell it. Uh, I think for now is going to be more food, so we get this, we're kind of going improvement like bang, bang, boom. And maybe follow up with that one. Bam. Uh, let's do a library, let's do a worker. I do need an archer too, though. Um, we only have, thanks to that uh, spearman loss, we only have two archers for our entire country, essentially. So I don't want to go without military, otherwise everyone's going to think it's like free pickings on us. And that's not good. Uh, Alright. Singapore looks elsewhere. We grew good. And I don't want to do an archer here right now, mainly because... Actually, really could be. I love that EUI thing. See which one's growing up next. I don't want to build an archer here right now because I want to get that National College out fast. If I can't get it out fast... Oh, I may actually divert building to the Oracle because by the time that comes out, I might be able to crank out the Oracle with the... Uh, what with the marble and all our production bonus. So that's pretty cool, actually. I may do that. Uh, all right, well, so many things I want. So greedy. I'm so greedy these days. Uh, let's roll around Osininka. I want to see what's out south now. I uh, kind of know what's in here. There may be another couple city-states, but we can probably get back here relatively easily. We don't get blocked in. And that's another city-state here. That's worth it to meet. Hi, Quebec. Sit Uh That's uh, definitely that bit of the Baja-type area. Uh, beautiful. Okay, can we get to Onondaga from here? No. We can get three signs from Uji Bogomo. Oje Bogomo, sorry. I keep saying Uji. That sounds so stupid. I apologize. Uh, available. We need to go to Onondaga. Most money. Brussels, Bucharest, and Onondaga. And three signs from Onondaga from Moning Wanakaning. Are we on okay terms? He covets. But if we put a trade route to him, he'll be less likely to try and murder us. So I'm going to take the risk. This may be stupid. And I probably should be doing something for Brussels. But uh, I'm going to send this to Moning Wanakaning. No, 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 hold on. Wrong button. 
relocate to Money One Accounting, and then send that to the Iroquois Capital. And we'll suck some science off of them, keep them happy, and since we're already pissing off our other neighbor, let's just try to make peace peace with this one at least. The very least. Alright, we got a bunch of buffalo rolling around here. Wild bison. Nice. Yeah, these are going to really start moving for the Sioux. They're going to really be expanding pretty hard, and I'm, I'm a little worried about... They're going to become a powerhouse. Um, the Sioux always tend to. It's just scary. I played the Sioux once, and it was just ludicrously strong. Okay, so food is good. I... This would speed up my wonder growth. Do I have enough food in the capital not to do that right now? I, mean, I do have a lot of food, but that'll provide me more production. Yeah, I still think the food is more important, uh, just to keep the capital growing. And 23 turns, that's not awful, but we may be a little slow on the other one after that. But now we can probably get our next population on the marble mine and still be growing strong and producing stuff quickly. Okay. Uh, Ow, that was unnecessary, so I'm just going to go out here. Peek, take a peek this way, and then maybe we will actually settle a city down here to get the salt. And that's Kilimanjaro, too, and that would be huge. I would like that very much. Maybe just on the river, get buy out Kilimanjaro, get salt. And that's just four really strong cities. And pretty well spread out and controlling the terrain. I like that. All right, send this to Onondaga. I'm assuming there's no barbarian camps there. No, we're good. It's too close. Too close to the city. And this is nice. Uh, we can say hi, keep friendly with the Iroquois. Crowfoot's got a statue of Zeus, so we know that we're not actually up deep, deep trouble yet. Free tech again. Thank you for stealing that. Ooh, they, you have ironworking already. Oh, he got ironworking. Uh, well, let's go into the classical quickly then. Since free ironworking, I will not sniff at. That's really, really nice, actually. Wow. Cool. Well, that's a nice tech. Classical era a little earlier than we expected because of that awesome steal. And we, now we know this guy right here can get these guys into swordsmen. So we need to start thinking about construction at some point, maybe. Spaniard for my look. His name is Spaniard. Sibonimak, um, 14 more turns for new tech. All right, I'm not sure how that's slowed down that much, but all right. Finish the library. Excellent. Let's get a worker and an archer. Let's get an archer out first. That worker will take a little while. Um, I do really want another worker for money wine, that kind of thing, but I think... Yeah, you stay there. We're growing and grow fast enough as it is. I want to get this cranked out so I can start on the oracle. This is, a little, this is, this is legit greedy. Like, legit greedy. But let's take that worker off. I'm probably going to need another archer anyway, so let's leave that on there. Ah, you know what? Let's just take this off anyway. And you will probably do a worker next. You're going to grow soon anyway. We'll get you on a decent production tile and call it a day. How about them apples? You need a granary. Good God, uh, actually. You really need a granary. Because there's not a lot of food here. We need to keep the city growing. Oh, God. All right. Uh, worker first, though. I think worker's a priority. All right. Uh, you. These away. The early wonders are hard to go for, but I think the oracle's really worth it. Yeah, you, you did good, Spaniard. You did good. I'm going to keep petting you in the head for that one. All right. Uh, this way. Good, next. Yeah, this looks a pretty good spot. Hey, Lord Ekuniknik of the Inuit, a newcomer. Work together, prepare for the next disaster so we can both stand before it. Yeah, those Inuit, always about prepping. They're like preppers, aren't they? Only way to survive up north, I suppose. All right, accept embassy. Let's check you out, buddy. Where are you at? Yeah, we did miss him. He's way the hell up there. Uh, my agents go where they please. Why don't you go bite me? And that's going to probably <laughs> cause war in short order. So we're going to start thinking about construction uh, relatively shortly, I think. Oh, this double salt. Damn, I was going to go here on the river to get Kilimanjaro, but double salt may be way stronger. And on a mountain with observatory tech, this is enough food, I think, to survive just off the salt. Damn. It's a lot of production in that city, too. All right, cool. Uh, that's good to know. Let's keep rolling with our scout. And we're going to keep an eye on the Cree now, because they are they may be seriously, seriously angry at us after that. Um, well, he just has one composite bow near me, and that's not too scary. But he obviously went um, went military text, and we'll be able to steal that from him as well, honestly, in 12 turns? Yeah. Yeah, I think so. Um, the other thing is, do I get him a missionary now? I think I do. And get Manitoulin. Oh, we're not creating faith anymore right now, so that is not good. I need to keep the religious pressure. Oh, hi there. Oh, that's the Unak. That's the unique scout. I think if I can pressure out his cities, I can probably win the religious war. I already have one follower locked in, so if I can just pressure this out with a quick mute missionary, I should be all right. So I think I'm going to... I rarely do this, but I will. I also need a mid you though. Damn. Um, all right, missionary it is. Let's go. 
Uh, I need to get religion up, and then we'll be a little better off. We'll be able to afford stuff later with faith. That's probably necessary. Let's take another look down here. Wow, this is a really strong fortified position, too. Dropping a city here would be a really, really good position against the uh, Iroquois. Hey, buddy, you finally have writing. Good on you. Good on you, friend. Trying to help your people through a uh, technological dark age. Zapotex discovered for Cahokia. We discovered the Zapotex, really? Where the hell we discovered the Zapotex? Didn't we just get an embassy with... Okay, I'm confused. I'm not sure where we noticed the Zapotex. Oh, there they are. <laughs> That's where we noticed them. Apparently that border just grew. All right, Zapotex are right here. So this is going to be interesting. There's going to be a lot of people in a very short space coming for a lot of territory. Actually, this is kind of open right now. I thought the... I thought the Blackfoot were closer to the Iroquois, but uh, we know there's going to be some pressure from Kosajoeja or whatever the heck his name is. I'm forgetting. I'm really not good with these names right now. Uh, we don't have trapping yet, but we're about to. So let's... Is this river? That's not river, but we need to make a farm anyway. Let's start cranking out some production tiles. Uh, no, 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 no. We may grow slower this way here, but I think it's necessary. We're going to slow the growth here just a little bit. So we can crank out an archer and a worker and then the granary. And we're going to crank this down, chop this forest, get some more food that way as well. All right, missionary. you got to go to money tooling, man. Because otherwise we're not going to recruit, uh, convert fast enough. Yay! We're friends with Kokia. Even more happiness. Booyah. And we are going to go to Uji Bogomo, I think, with this uh, missionary. And convert that and pressure him out. Kind of keep him locked in that sphere, that space. Okay. So, uh, Oracle, I think, is something we need to go for. It's going to be only four turns. Well, I mean, production is going to increase here. Production is increased here, too, though. So I think the Oracle is worth it. We got there pretty quick with Philosophy. It doesn't look like we're going a lot of very high-tech AIs right now. So I think it's worth it to just go in and make do with that. Uh, what do we research now? He went construction. So drama and poetry is probably fine. Because we're going to have ten turns, and we're going to get this archer out in two you know, we'll have three composite bowmen. I feel a little better. It's not a huge military, but uh, since we're not going on the conquest route that early, we should be all right with that. All right, I need to get around this guy. I need to see what else is further south, and this obviously narrows into Mexico soon, so I hope he didn't block it all off completely yet. All right. Uh, yeah, I'll make a farm here eventually. We're going to need it, yeah, and I am going to leave that here on the horses, I think, just because. Just because. Yeah, let's go. Where you at? Uh, sure, let's be friends. I don't mind friends early. Religion founded! Blackfoot Confederates founded the new religion of Catholicism. Okay, fair enough. Oh, that's right, we're gonna get, um, embassy. You want a horse for that? Thanks. And then let's get some money from our only friend, the Blackfoot. Where are you, buddy? Hey. You want the horses? There. We don't really need these right now. That's 45 a pop. That'll be 135 gold, so I can't even get flat gold from you. That's kind of lame. Uh, can we at least get 45 for one horse? Yep, we can do that. And we can get, I guess we can get 3 GBT for the other two. That's 90, yeah, that works. Good? Good. All right, more money early is going to be important. We're going to need to upgrade our composites and a couple other things. San Jose Mogote. All right, Monte Alban is down there, so we can probably sneak by here or just go west around them. Um, and we wish I met everyone except for, I think, the Chinook? Yeah, just the, everyone except the Chinook. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yep, and just the Chinook are the tenth. That's what we need. Uh, religions are coming out hot and heavy this game. One more can still be founded, though. All right. Good enough. What else we got? Uh, let's just take a last peek at what's out here. All right, basically this is encroaching on their land. So the Iroquois may be going after these guys, too. Um, those... Iroquois warriors are really strong early, and that'll be a good way for them to fight. All right, now you need to spread religion here, and that's brilliant. Uh, so we can get Manitoulin pressuring out Ogobogomo, and I think what I need to do now is probably get... Yeah, we'll get a profit soon enough, and then we'll enhance our religion with that, and maybe get some pagodas. But Bucharest, we have a lot of pressure, and we should be able to pressure Bucharest out. Uh, we may want to do our own city here, but we're getting 12 pressure already, so I think getting maybe his city and giving like 18 pressure on this... Well, how much pressure are we putting out here? We're putting out 6 pressure only, so if we can get 12 pressure on that city, it'll be nice. Yeah, I think we can do that. Let me make that swing. Of course, he might missionary bomb me too, but... Oh, he has his own religion. I'll piss him off even further. I don't think actually it's a good idea. Let's not anger the guy who found his own religion. We already 
or stealing his text and everything. We could take more pressure from Bukarash. Let's do that. Uh, we'll wait a turn and then we'll convert Bukarash and call it a day. Oh, let's keep going. Okay, wow, yeah. Um, they're maybe going on, on some warlike efforts soon. Yeah, we're going to get back to Muningwakening and lock ourselves down. Stacked unit! Excellent. We have an extra archer, which we're going to put on Mikilmakinak, just so we have an archer in every city. Uh, chicken in every pot and all those good things. Why are we growing so damn slow right now? Oh no, that was the same rate we were growing at before. Never mind. Next. Biblos no longer needs investors. Yeah, it happens. Alright, and what is... We have decisions, do we not? Yeah. We could do... What is this? Oh, this is Tangerism. 127 gold. <laughs> Screw it. No, not worth it. Um, yeah, definitely not worth it. Let's keep going south. Yeah, we can cut through here, so this is good. I need to explore as much as I can while I can still. And I'm not going to take the risk of getting blocked off by Iroquois here. I'm going to go back to Money Walking this way. Uh, you. Convert Bukarest and call yourself done. Excellent. Okay. So we now have a decent religion base. We should be able to keep it here. We have a lot of pressure. Why only six? Uh, Twelve pressure. There we go. Uh, and we'll probably get the one that spreads to cities further away so we can keep pressuring out more. And that'll be just brilliant. I think with three cities and that kind of base, our religion will spread pretty strong on this continent. And I'll be pretty happy with that. So yay! I mean, we're probably going to get pushed out. But for now, we had the spy. That was really the important thing. We'll get a couple of Medu and we'll call it a day. Um, that'll be more important, I think, than Pagodas even, just because that's part of our decision. We need Medu for one of our decisions, I do believe. If I'm not mistaken, if I'm not crazy, and I don't think I am much! Uh, oh, we got a population growth, I didn't even notice. Probably went to the good tile, though. Yeah, we went to a good tile. Good on you, friends. Uh, yep, we're gonna keep working that working. Working that working. Working that worker. Uh, we are, do want to drop another city here, I think. I think Zapotex might beat us to it, honestly, um, just because I want the National College early, and I'm, I'm okay with that. Uh, they will be hard-pressed to defend this through the Mountain Pass, and we'll probably take it. Uh, especially if you drop a spy in there, compromise city defenses, and then I'll have it for my very own. Long friends of Kogia, that's alright. We're still six happiness, so I'm okay. I'm not too worried about not having those fur resources yet, but we may need to start getting that out. We don't have a worker to do it yet, so you know what? Whatever. We'll be okay. Our happiness is doing fine. This will be a nice uh, progress of the Oracle as well. Uh, let's see, also, yeah, tax reforms. I could do this, because this would be extra money early, but I don't really need to. I don't like that one much, honestly. Uh, all right, onward. Doggy, I know, I know. It's a, bad, it's a bad decision. I won't do it, I promise. It was a bad decision. I'm sorry for mentioning it. Okay, I'm sorry, all right? I know, I know. It was a bad move. It was a bad deal. Next. Next, next, next. Uh Natural Wonder? We do, you know, why do you do this after we find them? We found them like a, two turns ago. We found Kilimanjaro and we found the Grand Mesa, I think, over here. Yeah, we did. Why do you ask for it now? Why now? Why not before? Cheeky little git. All right. Ten turns till the Oracle, eight turns till that. That is a freaking swordsman. Get me the hell out of here back into my city. Holy crap. That's scary. Uh, no. Sorry. I need to save my money. We have 498, though. That's ah, I don't think so. Does he know where I am? I don't think he does. Oh, maybe he does. Ah, uh, you know what? I still don't want to have diplomatic relations with those guys. I can avoid it. Go here. Yes, Money Walking has become religious. We will spread our religion far and wide. And Brussels is getting pressured out by us now. Um, they'll convert soon enough. We'll get that free quest, more or less. That's really nice. Uh, let's keep going south through Mexico. <laughs> All right, we have another worker. So we're gonna send you down to Morning Uh Let's take you the safe way, actually. I don't wanna go up that way. And we'll get you working on the sheep, we'll get you working on the furs, and then all will be right with the world, so we hope. But I'm seeing catapults, so that shit's scary. How many turns do we steal construction? Two? Excellent, can't come soon enough. Uh, yeah, this is definitely, I think, gonna be aimed straight at my face, so I need to watch out for that. We did drama and poetry, obviously, for the free amphitheater and a little extra culture in our capital. One is a lot early. Uh, GBT from Kosoja ended. Oh, Olives ended. Let's renew that. Kosoja, or however you pronounce that. Oh, no. I need, I need money. I need more money than that from someone. What do you got? Plus one, minus two, plus 19. Hey, man. Want to do seven? 
for now, since we're such good friends. God damn it. He's going to want to declare war on me. Minus five, plus zero, plus six. Ah, oh, crap. What do you want? Uh, you only give me... Can you give me seven? Yeah. No. Uh, well, he's going to give me all his money, so technically it's not too bad, I guess. Uh, let's, if, if I can get plus six from these guys, at least we'll have a better trade. All right, you know what? That's the best thing I'm going to do right now. Good enough. All right, we researched that. We don't want to go into medieval without magistrates. We need a lot of magistrates for our decisions, so I think we need to go to mathematics next. I'm going to do that. Uh, you, sir. Keep rolling out this way. Uh, you, sir. Yeah, you were doing stuff. We're going to keep rolling you that way. Get to money walking. You mount up. Mount up. Heal up. Fortify up. Do whatever you do. Do you mount cities? I don't think you actually mount cities. I think that's kind of a misconstruction of my mental deficiency here. Uh, I do kind of want trapping here. Because we are working the deer, and that'll improve the production at the very least. So let's go trapping first, I think. Then math. That'll be fine. Uh, so you roll out. Should we cut this down and make another farmy type field? I think so. We have enough production here from the hills, so we should be all right. Yeah, let's make another farm here. So we'll chop that for a little more production in Manitoulin. Sitting Bull is a threat to the stability. He will be. He's not yet, but I agree he will be later. I don't have the military to help with this, so you know what? Sorry, friend. I'm not declaring war on the Sioux right now when I'm still just trying to get my national college up. Ain't happening, bucko. Ain't happening. And we're almost there. We're almost there with the Oracle as well. Excellent official magistrates. Yes, we need those. That's actually really good. Poundmaker is constructing the Parthenon. Oh, interesting. Another reason to take this city. Uh, let's see. What's in here? Stonehenge, and he's doing the Parthenon. He's got a Judiciary Court already. He's got Mathematics. Damn! He's a high-tech little dude. Uh, no construction? Really? Oh, because I don't have the wheel. Oh, I'm a dumbass. Okay, that's fine. I guess we can steal... The equivalent of diddly and squat. Because uh, we don't have prerequisites for all these. Crap, I do, I do need the wheel for this. Oh, well, not much I could have done there, I'm afraid. Um, Alright, let's do this. Gonna keep stealing from him. Three turns after that. Nice. Trapping is cool. We're gonna need math. And then we're going to steal construction, so that's good. Keep rolling. Nope. Gotta have it. Uh, you farm? Can you farm? Keep going. No barbarians, no barbarians, no whammy. Yay, okay, good. And we get to Manawakening pretty quick. And we're going right here anyway, so that's fine. Good, good indeed. And then we'll have the wheat, I think, relatively soon, actually. We should explore, yep, <laughs> explore. Expand in five turns to be able to catch up with that growth I've been slowing thanks to our sheep growth. Uh, what is going on here? Where? Oh, way the hell down there. Yeah, I'm not worried about that yet. Well, I may need to be, honestly, if I can try to get by Zanz Zanzibar. Remind me to stay the hell away from there. I'm going to try to get through their territory. This is going to pee him off a little bit, but all right. Onward and upward. Uh, you, sir. Yes, another, another population. Good. Good. Do that. Keep growing, keep producing. Six turns to the Oracle, four turns for the library, and then we do National College. And then at that point, that'll put us in National College at somewhere around... Well, that'll be somewhere around turn 100. Uh, so, you know, I've had faster ones, but not going to complain. And we have 10 turns of social policy, and that'll speed up the National College considerably as well. So, okay, doing all right. A strong start with the religion, not the strongest start overall I've ever had, but, yeah, you know, I think we can make this work. Probably don't get killed right now. Extra olives that we just finished, I think? Yep. 7 GPT works for me, bucko. And do we get 7 on top of that just for being such a good friend of yours? I do. I do indeed. I do declare. You are so generous, sir. Uh. I like it. Alright, money, money, money. So now we got 624. That's a lot of money to upgrade stuff with. I love it. Uh, Trusting Zanzibar. Sorry. If you know if you didn't put that catapult there, I'd actually be able to get out of your territory. But I'm guessing the last Civ, uh, the reason I'm going down here, there's probably not another Civ here. The last one's probably down in Central America over here, and we need to meet them ASAP. And the Chinook, that's a good place for them, honestly. There's a lot of ocean near there, and that's kind of what they depend on to do what they're doing. All right, cool. Ah, wanna cunning. Let's keep you here. And once we have construction... Uh-oh, the first war of the game already! The Zapoteks are going after the Iroquois! All right, well, the Iroquois are actually pretty strong early with their uh, Iroquois warriors. They don't need iron. They have swordsman strength units. So that's pretty cool still. And I think the Iroquois are the highest on tech. So I think this is going to be a good thing 
they might fight each other to stand still. If I'm unlucky, the Iroquois are going to get stronger. And he's pretty expansive. So that's scary. So he got the Parthenon now. Uh, clever girl. Uh, but hey, something... No, no. Wait. Someone else built it. Padmaker didn't get it. Really? Who got the Parthenon? I guess the uh, Chinook did. Okay. That Chinook we haven't met yet. But we know we're out there because we're omniscient in this game, apparently. So we're working on math. Uh, we're going to get construction now. Dankeschön. We're going to upgrade into composites so they think better of attacking us. And now I think we need to crank out... They we're waiting for profit. I'm not going to buy it. I was like, Pagoda! No, no, no. Uh, we need to crank out some more military. I think two more archer type people will be good, so a composite bow makes sense. And then I do believe I'm going to need some melee. I may do something clever here, so we'll see. I'll show you. I'll show you. All right. Uh, nothing going there. This is pretty good. Let's go out here and keep moving. You, sir. Let's go here. And next turn. Religion has been enhanced. Okay, well, we... Well, he enhanced this one already. Damn, that's pretty That's pretty quick. But we still have a lot of pressure going. We don't have pressure this way, though, yet. Okay, so we didn't take the itinerant preachers one. That's what it is, itinerant preachers. There we go. Okay. Uh, okay, we got past Zanz... There's the Chinook! I knew you were down here. I hope your intents are noble. What is it you wish to trade with us today? Knowledge, friend. Not but knowledge. And also, olives for wine. Uh, because we'll get olives up later, and that'll be more happiness overall. Yay! I'm about to get more olives up now. Look how that works. All right. So we're very shortly going to get the Oracle. That'll give us an extra social policy to finish tradition. Uh, and that's going to enable one of our decisions, I think, if I'm not mistaken. I really should not have picked Tengerism, because this looks awfully sim. I mean, not very similar, but quickly looking, that kind of looks like our symbol a lot. So I probably should have picked something very contrasting for our religion. But All right, whatever. Okay, man. That's going to be fun. All right, which one does that require? This one, I think. Birch Park Scrolls must have... Oh, no, that's mid -you. I mean, I'm going to want this, though. Damn, I really am going to need this. I need to have... Bought, earned, two mid -you, and then one in the capital. All right, and then convene a council of three fires. One social policy completed. Yeah, this will enable us to crank this out. That'll be faith in science. And that may be worth it. Because we got that free magistrate. And early on, faith in science is going to help us. This is double... It's two turns with the science, and... A lot of turns were the faith, and I do like that a lot. I may convene this one in this era while we can. This is once per era? Yeah, once per era. All right, cool. Composite Bowman. Now we have a little bit more to defend ourselves with, and that's a necessity in this hostile, hostile world we're about to find ourselves in because war is already erupting, and luckily that's taken the eyes of the Iroquois off of us for a bit. I don't think this is taking the eyes of the Kree off of us yet, but uh, we'll, we're making do. They had 12 pressure from Protestantism, but 18 from... Uh, Tengerism, or our native religion, so we should be doing okay with that. With that preachers, that'll be increased. How close are we to getting... Ah, shit. He's going to war, isn't he? Not yet. I'm not ready. Not ready. Don't denounce me yet, buddy. Oh, uh, I'm not looking forward to what's about to come my way. I think I need to start moving with my composites up north, because that's where the fight's coming from, and I'm not worried about the Iroquois anymore. This is going to take our money down a little bit, but I need to defend money to any... Money to lean uh, very well right now. Okay. Currency next, and we're going to pop to civil service for medieval era. That makes sense. We should probably be able to steal a tech soon as well. Four turns for Spaniard to steal something. That's probably going to be either sailing or horseback riding. Probably horseback riding at this point. Uh, and then we'll roll on. All right. Uh, we also need... Oh, crap. We need a judicial center, don't we? How many turns? 33. Yeah, we're not doing that here. Friend. Uh, yeah, it's going to have to be here, but yeah, <laughs> it's going to be a while. 14 for the National College, it's not bad. No one built national in the Hanging Gardens yet. Look at me going after wonders. I don't have the production for this yet, so why don't we go water mill, then granary, and then we'll decide what the hell to do. Uh, but yes, we met, we met the Chinook now. I don't think I want to stay down here too long, mainly because there's barbarians. I'm going to heal up and get the hell out of here. Uh, probably stay near Zanzibar, so barbarians go after Zanzibar first. Or I might just get to the other side of Zanzibar, then get the hell out. But now we know where everyone is. That's pretty cool. We've met everyone, so we have a potential... Thought Death was medieval already. Damn it. That was quick. And what do we have a decision wise? Codify laws. Uh, we could do this, technically, because that would give us 
for happiness and uh, what's the other thing? I haven't played Civ Five because we played BE. Uh, Golden Age length increased, and we're gonna hit one pretty soon, and I want that to be soon, to be strong. We can also formalize. I think doing both of these is gonna be important right now because we get a free social policy from the Oracle, and that'll help us finish tradition, and that'll enable that other decision. Yeah, I think I'm gonna do one of these now and the other one later, uh, just to make sure if if or we do or do not get the Oracle. Uh, let's formalize the measures now, and that'll pay off on its own later. Um, the longer this game goes, but that's that's coming my way. Yeah, it's coming my way, so I got to be careful. And he's in the medieval already. Um, all right, wow, he is really cranking up the science. But we are gonna have our national college up soon, and we're gonna really lock down Manitoulin as needed. Okay, so you are going to get to the other side of Zanzibar as soon as possible, provided we can. Money Wanna Cunning is here. Uh, that's probably the only way we're going to continue growing, so let's do that. Water Mill is going to help us out with that as well. All right, cool. So I think I'm going to call it there, guys. Thank you for tuning in this episode. We're working toward our infrastructure. We're expecting, really expecting, a uh, war declaration from the Kree at any moment. Uh, he doesn't like us much. We have a religion that's not his. Uh, we're stealing stuff from him constantly. He's he's a little cross. So we're gonna need to do this. Luckily our spy is helping us catch up on tech. Imagine how bad we'd be, how badly off we'd be if um, that spy wasn't working overtime. The good thing is though, we do have a trade route giving us four gold and two science from the Iroquois and that's helping us a little bit. But really the big help is gonna be finally getting uh, some more population growth in our cities and then finally getting our national college. And we'll start cranking out the science in earnest getting to the medieval era and catching up to everyone else. And that spy is going to help us fill in the gaps in between. So thank you so much for tuning in this episode as we continue the adventures of the Anishinaabe and their wise leader Pontiac, uh, who I'm cameoing as for now. And we'll see if we can bend the Cree to our will. And I know we're going to have that call to war thing going, but I don't think we're, there's going to be an offensive war. It's going to be 10 turns of compromising the city defenses, but we won't be able to take advantage of it. I think we're going to have to wait until trebs or cannons or something to do that. Um, but with that defense kind of ability, we may be able to get this get this taken and uh, have another city for our very own, and then we'll see what the hell to do after that. We are going to go a little bit uh, warlike this game, I think, and it'll be, it'll be glorious. Oh, it'll be glorious. Thank you so much for tuning in. I have been Urs. I will see you next time. Till then!